pausing a beat to recognize how this would change the way that the quiet street she grew up on. Sarah's mom politely asked her grandfather if anything could be done about it. His considered response was, well, probably not, that you could try and get a petition. In retrospect, I suspect this was a rather patronizing response. He knew that a petition would not upset Stanford and the city's plan to connect the recently opened Highway 101 to El Camino. Uh, to El Camino and then to Stanford's nascent research park. Uh, you see, Stan Sarah's grandfather was in a position to know. His name was John Pierce Mitchell, who is Palo Alto's longest city council member, 31 years, three of which as mayor. Many of you are aware of my interest in research regarding the making of Oregon Expressway, but I'm just going to focus on the research part for today. In cooperation with Palo Alto, Stanford's 1953 master plan called for promoting light industry, light industrial businesses to be located in the southern quadrant of the university's land. 